Hi everybody. So we're working still on the boat. Um, got a little bit of work done on it. Uh, let's see, since our last video, uh, the antenna mast, the antenna mast, the main mast, I think uh, that's new, or at least it's installed now. We have the radar array up front. Um, we have our searchlight and loudspeaker on to the uh, cabin top. We have our air inlets for the uh, cooling vents for the lower cabin. Uh, the railings are painted and installed. Forward railings, uh, rear railings. I kept talking about silver on these, but apparently the forward railings were black and the rearward uh, stern midship railings were uh, painted spar, which is just a tan or wood tone. Uh, the same with the rear flagstaff. Uh, again, it looks like a, it's a little loose. Also, since I think our last video, uh, I've carved the um, intake, uh, engine air intakes. Uh, one goes on each side here. And uh, those are fully carved now. They are positioned uh, on either side of uh, the cabin, at the rear here of the cabin. Uh, I've got the two bit blocks, um, the stern bit and then the bow bit block. Uh, there's a smaller little bow block here, but uh, now I'm not going to be able to reach it. Oh, maybe I will. There we go. And uh, these are all painted spar. Um, I'm going to do these actually spar uh, initially and then um, I'm going to wrap uh, tape strips around and then paint the balance black. So they'll be black with a tan uh, stripe around the middle uh, section of each of those. Right, so what do I still have to uh, lay up? I still have to make uh, this part, and this is the um, uh, the engine exhaust towers. And with that, there's a Hauser snapback screen down the middle, and to that screen, and mounted underneath these uh, bars that go across the top, which are just uh, eighth inch square um, wood stock material. Uh, the hanger, uh, the um, the anchor hangs uh, from from that bar right right about there. Although this is not to scale, so left and right uh, engine exhaust uh, stacks, uh, Hauser snapback screen in the center, uh, two uh, railings across the top, with the anchor hanging from the railings, and then that whole assembly. Uh, goes just behind the bit and in front of the um, center hatch. At that point, all of the fabrication will be done, and it will just be a matter of painting all those parts and installing them. Uh, you can see I have all the cleats installed. I'm just going to put these back into the uh, my little holding area here, um, and uh, and that'll be the end of it. Uh, Assembly of this unit, uh, painting of the unit, installation of the unit, and installation of the bit blocks, and anchor, and that's and that at that point it's done. Uh, again, because this kit is discontinued, this is the small version of the 41 foot uh, Coast Guard cutter. Dumas makes a large version of this boat, and I think with that they discontinued the little one. The large version of this boat I think is uh, 30 inches long, uh, stem to stern. This is just a, a little bit less than a foot long, actually maybe just a little bit over a foot long. Um, it's approximately 1 32nd scale, although I think that's off a bit. It's probably more like 1 30th to 1 28th, somewhere in there, um, which is fine. 1 28th, 1 30th scale for the trailer that I'm going to mount it on, which is 1 25th scale, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you'll see that come together hopefully better than the boat did. I, again, I lost some videos uh, that I had uploaded to my PC that were corrupt. Uh, there's, a, there's a video all about it that I mentioned it a few times now, so I'm not going to keep going over that. Um, 
so carving these blocks um, and it's kind of an involved shape and process so they had to be um, angled backward from the stern and up and rounded here over the top they also had to be cut and uh, angled up from uh, the bottom to the top along each of the outer uh, surfaces so this outer surface is beveled to match uh, the bevel of this uh, lower deck side and the same on the other side it's angled the opposite direction I think uh, you know there you can probably see that I'm not, I think so angled in this way to match the angle of this lower side deck on that side and what you want is vertical uh, surface uh, along this side this needs to be vertical here and here and of course this one just fits inside of the door which is great uh, because when I hinge the door I want it to be able to swing free of of that uh, of that component of that exhaust port or intake port I think it's an intake and and the other thing is an exhaust at any rate um, you know it's a boat so I don't know that much about them anyway so this is our current status of the build again there are no decals I won't have uh, the Coast Guard striping or any of the Coast Guard uh, lettering um, text US Coast Guard here the slant striping here and here with the Coast Guard emblem in the middle of the red stripe and then a ship registration number here uh, name and registration number for the rear and then a boat number I think is what goes across the deck here uh, something like a five or six digit um, serial number for each of the patrol boats uh, those are the decals I don't have I don't have any flags for it um, I did install the mast I, I went ahead and glued all these in even though I'm mounting this to a trailer as if in transport a uh, boat like this in transit uh, on a transport trailer would not have its masts up. They would be pulled down and stored uh, somehow either on the deck of the boat or on the trailer or separately shipped. Um, but I went ahead and put them on the boat um, because the boat is a, is a display piece. And what I'm actually building with the truck and trailer and this are, are really just a model display, not uh, you know, not an accurate display of a uh, transport trailer carrying an oversized load of a ship, if that makes uh, any sense at all. I'm, you know, I'm just um, kind of creating something as a display uh, instead of just having this sit on a, uh, a pedestal like this. It's going to sit on a truck trailer. Yada, yada, yada. Um, all right, so anyway, we're, uh, you're up to speed on the Coast Guard cutter. I hope I've made clear that, again, this is uh, Dumas. This is a Dumas kit. It is a discontinued kit. It is still available directly from Dumas. If you go to their website, D-U-M-A-S products, uh, the number is number 1216. I think the big boat is 1214, um, but don't quote me on that. So if you want the big one, that's 1214. If you want this little one, it's 1216 uh, but all of that's uh, spelled out on the Dumas website right um, anyway that's uh, this is where we are uh, we're getting close to the final on this build and uh, just one more component to manufacture and install and then uh, paint and so forth and that's it a little bit of paint I did spray uh, the semi-gloss clear overall before I applied the windows. Uh, you always want to apply your clear coats without any uh, clear acetate. It will fog the windows if you do it afterward. Um, so don't 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 stick windows on these things if you're going to apply a clear coat. Uh, what else? I don't know. That's that's about it. There's not a whole lot of rigging on here. Just for the flagpole, there would be a line uh, for that. Um, probably a, a fly line here too but I don't think I'll be doing that I'm, it's not enough uh, of added detail uh, to make a difference and I'm just uh, I'm gonna let that go alright I thought about uh, making my own uh, just painting my own striping on here but I think I'll just leave it I'll leave it unpainted there I'll just leave the Coast Guard striping off of it uh, 
anyway, there's our boat. Thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, later with uh, more of a conclusion.